You know, for the, uh, it's amazing, but for the last 12 years, my next guest has starred as Detective Lenny Briscoe on Law & Order 12 years. Please welcome Jerry Orbach. Thank you for being here. It, it started out as just Law and Order. Then it was Law. It's, then it Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Law and Order Murder Crime Guys. <laughs> law and Order you parking know, violations. Parking violations. Yeah. Department of Sanitation. There's a whole lot of it. In your almost, sanitation. This isn't from the restaurant in San Francisco. No. <laughs> it, the squat and giggle. I think. But yeah. my question is: Will it ever end? Will it ever stop? The, the, it just seems like they could make 50 Law & Order shows. Several years ago, Dick Wolf said to us one time at a meeting that we were going to break Gunsmoke's record of 20 years. And we all laughed and said, uh, yeah, right, right in right. your dreams. You know? right, and now right. it's uh, 14, so uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll never end. Well, and the true sign of success is you guys now have a Law & Order coloring book. And <laughs> There's a law and order. Have you seen this thing? I just found out about it. There's when a I law got and here. order yeah. coloring book, and it's dark. It's got like you know bodies and stuff. <laughs> not, I didn't make this up. We did not make this up. And they're like, they're like, the me finds road paint on the victim's fingers right here. That's a nice thing for kids to paint in. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty rough. And then my favorite thing right here, I just have to show is, gee, I wonder when you, there's a connect the dots in here, and I just wonder what's going to happen when you connect all the dots. Who is that? <laughs> Who could that be? I, I look there's like, some kid like, what's it going to be? The look is like I, I really smelled something terrible. I don't yes, know. <laughs> yes, this is you having a bad day right here. Yeah. Um, Twelve years on the show, and I understand, and I, I guess... You know, and I've seen you in action. I've actually, you've been nice enough to let me uh, sh uh, shoot one or two things with you uh, while you're doing your show out on the street. And I noticed that real policemen treat you with a lot of respect. They really do treat you like you've been on the force for 12 years rather than just, a, a, you know, as an actor who's played that part. Yeah, it's an amazing thing. Uh, they're very sweet. The, the New York cops are uh, terrific to me. And uh, I love it when they say, keep making us look good. You know, mm -hmm. so that's that's quite a compliment. And they actually um, sometimes they'll they'll give you a ride if if you're trying to hail a cab. I've heard that they'll give you a ride. Is that true? I've actually had that happen. I told them I didn't want them to get in trouble. You know, giving me a ride, and they said, "Well, sit in the back and keep your hands behind you. We'll make it look like you're a prisoner." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard that one before. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that excuse doesn't work for everybody. No, I know, I know. <laughs> you could get away with murder, though, in this town. I really believe that. I really believe that if you committed a murder, you, Jerry Orbach, and the police came, you could get away with it. You it's have... possible. I could talk my way out of it. Yeah. Uh, some celebrities have. Yeah. I... <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, don't look at me. <laughs> now, uh, you were recently named one of New York's living landmarks. How did that make you feel? Old. <laughs> it was great. It was terrific. Uh, they they made this thing of living landmarks, uh, and I guess uh, it means they can't tear me down. Right. That's nice. You know, That's nice. like a landmark building. Right. But uh, they who, who, what, what kind of company are you in? Who else is a living landmark? Oh, uh, uh, they just inducted uh, Elaine of Elaine's Restaurant. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Sam Waterston was inducted along with me. Where is my living landmark status? I've been doing this show for 10 years, and I believe that I've achieved the status of living landmark. At I this think point. you're overdue. Yeah. I think you're overdue. And as a matter of fact. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have to tell you, you, huh? don't, you don't get anything. You don't get anything? You don't I thought you'd get, get like a Porsche or no. something. No. No. Living landmark, here's your Porsche. No, you, don't bring that up. That was NBC's gift to the cast of Will and Grace, who I love. They all got Porsches. They all got I couldn't Porsche believe Porsche Boxster it. convertibles. We got uh, a leather uh, script binder. <laughs> with an NBC. I got turtle wax. Turtle so, wax. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how often do you act your turtle? I don't yeah. know. kind of behavior from, from Chappelle, but from you, a living landmark. 
Well, I don't work as dirty as you know. <laughs> you do now, apparently. Yeah, I, mean, I go all the way, buddy. <laughs> now, uh, I got to ask you about something. CSI has just announced that they're going to do a show out of New York. CSI New York. Yep. Yes. That's and what I'm think, I heard. And, I, and the, when I heard that, my, my initial reaction was, that's Jerry Orbach's turf. You have been here for a long time. They can't encroach. What do you think about this? It's an interesting problem. Uh, CSI is huge, right. you know, and they, it's very interesting the way they get very graphic of a bullet going in your ear and coming out somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, but it's, there's a difference. There's Usually a, the other ear. Yeah, yeah. the other ear. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a basic difference with, uh, with our show and uh, a show called Third Watch. Right. Uh, that are shot in New York. You guys shoot in New York. CSI, they're not going to do that? No, they're more like uh, NYPD Blue, which uh, shoots in Los Angeles. CSI shoots in, in Los Angeles. It will shoot the New York one in Los Angeles. Then they do what they call uh, drive-ups and walk-ins. They right. come and do a week's worth of driving up in front of a building. And uh, running in. Buying right. a hot dog, whatever, and they get New they York flavor. They plug those into shows. Right. And then when they walk inside the building, they're in L.A. in a studio. So when people watch that show, they're going to see them saying, like, this is terrible, let's get to Staten Island. And you'll see palm trees in the background <laughs> if you look very carefully. That's what's going to be happening. We like oh palm God. trees. All right. <laughs> if they're not from Staten Island, that's the saddest crowd reaction I've ever heard. <laughs> Yay, he mentioned palm trees. Um, well, you guys, don't worry. Law & Order airs Wednesday nights at 10 o'clock on NBC. And you're a class act. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Jerry Orbach. We'll take a break. When we come back, Candy Butchers are here. Stick around.